not smile. You can't not smile? Yeah. <laughs> hey! It's Briggs are. And they might be Bricks. And it's time for... You know what time it is. It's that bat time. Where we answer questions. Brat, bat stands for Briggs are. Answer thingy. Thank you. So, we have a question. It is from a YouTuber. It is from J.C. Bricks. And you will a ask the question for me. Hey, Vixar, I had a couple questions that you might know the answer to. First, what software do you use to edit your videos? What software do I use to edit my videos? Well, it depends on what device I am editing on. I use, on my phone, it's an iPhone 5, I use a software called iMovie. Let's see if I can show you. I don't even know if that'll show up. So, there's a video I did yesterday. So I used that. And that app used to, you have to pay for it, now it's free on the app store. Yeah. And they also have iMovie on the Mac. Now, I just recently got a Mac. Um, what do you call the one that's the laptop? MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro. Yeah, I just got that, so I'm using it, and then iMovie on it has so many more features. Oh, we also uh, are still learning to use Final Cut Pro. Yeah, we have Final Cut Pro. Uh, we've done how many videos with that? One or two? <laughs> <laughs> it's better. Uh, it has tons of features. Yeah, there's a YouTuber that uses that for animations, and his animations are very the Final popular. Cut King? No, uh, Brotherhood Workshop. Oh. He was in the Brick Journal. Okay, so, yeah, the, the drawback on that one, we're just learning how to use it. And I would like to do more. Um, as we get into more of this fancy editing, it takes a lot longer. And that's the problem I have is I don't have the time. So, you know, using this is easier. The videos are not going to be as fancy and as refined as some of the big YouTubers. Uh, I hate always mentioning Jane, but he has a tremendous quality to his videos. But I don't have the time. So I give you the... Less quality. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's the main stuff we use. I've also used Windows Movie Maker. A lot of my early va videos were done with that, but I really hate that software. But sometimes I had to because I only had Windows-based computers. But now we have Mac. So let's go back to his questions. And also, when you buy Lego and BrickLink, do you buy just the stuff you need, or do you search through that person's store and get other stuff that strengths you? I, yes, usually I go to a store looking for a particular item. It could be a set or a piece or a few pieces for a set that I'm, you know, maybe I'm missing a couple of pieces for a set and I want to review it. I want it to be complete. So I'll go to the store and I'll look for things that are in my wanted list. And there's that feature where you can click on all items on your wanted list in that store. Of course, you know, sometimes the prices can be outrageous, so I wouldn't necessarily buy everything that I want. Or it was on my wanted list in that store, but I do also I I'll search the store for other things, and that's how I get a lot of the weird stuff that I buy. So I go to the store looking for something particular, and while I am, I do browse the store, and I have certain things that I kind of uh, look for, um, like certain sets, and I'll sort things by price. I'll start from the highest to the lowest because sometimes that's where you find the rare things searching by price instead of just searching by item type I like to search by price and sometimes I'll see what's the cheapest things in their store and that's why I had one haul I did recently I got a bunch of tiles for a fraction of a penny so I just went ahead and bought them all because they were cheap but um, a fraction of a penny yeah I mean they were less than a penny each that doesn't make sense <laughs> yeah he had he had everything on sale so I, I went ahead and got them I mean I, I didn't have any plans for them they, they were just so cheap I bought them and I, I did that, you know, years ago I've even done that, where a guy, he was clearing out a lot of stuff and the parts weren't even a penny each. It was like 0 0.5 cents. Yeah. Or he, I've, I've seen them like a tenth of a cent before. That's so why not buy them? Uh, of course, you have to be careful buying stuff just because it's cheap. Like, it could be heavy, like instructions. Somebody could have their instructions for a penny, which I have seen, but they're the thick instructions, and it would cost a lot to ship them, so... It's not necessarily a good deal, even at a penny. Those are good questions. So that was from J.C. Bricks. So, let's see. Ugh. Hold on a minute. 
I just yawned. You yawned. JC Spricks has two subscribers. Let's see if we can get. Uh oh, he has place. three. Oh, he reviewed the city truck tow truck six zero zero five six, and he has a haul video. So thanks, JC Bricks, for your question. Please be sure to leave your questions in the comments below, and we will try to answer them. This is Bricks R, and that's they might be bricks. Catch you later. See ya.